Hi everybody, so this is going to be a review on the new Makeup Forever brow liners. So these I think have not launched yet in Sephora stores or Sephora online, but I think they are on the Makeup Forever website. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the review for these. I'm gonna read a little bit, um, or I'm gonna read what it says in the box. It says, this tinted brow liner gives a smooth, buildable application thanks to a long-lasting and light formula. The, ex the extreme precision tip draws a result from natural to structured brows. So I uh, got this in the color 30 and 50, and I actually am probably the, the color, num well, the number 40, but they were out of stock, so I had to make do with these, and hopefully it's gonna turn out okay. So this is what the packaging looks like. It looks kind of like teeny little eyeliners, to be honest. It has a Makeup Forever logo, and then the stripe denotes what type of, or what the color is. So this is like a brunette, and this is kind of almost like a black charcoal color. It comes with kind of like an eyeliner tip. Kind of looks like the eyeliner tip that they have for their you know, liquid eyeliners. Um, this is the color number 50. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on the back of my hand so you can see the color. So as you can see, the color is very dark. This is almost, you know, like black, black, black. Um, that'll be very interesting on my eyebrows. We'll have to see how that's gonna work out for me. But uh, definitely very pigmented, very wet. I'm also interested to see how that's gonna translate on the brows, because I don't want them to look like too shiny, but. I'm starting to see as it's, as it's drying, you can see in the beginning of the line that it's turning matte. So this is number 30. Just gonna go ahead and swatch this one as well. So again, very pigmented, a little bit wet right now. I think it's gonna turn matte like the one, the black one. Um, a little light brown for me. I really wish they would have had the 40 because I think 40 would have been perfect for my eyebrows, but um, I guess the overall point is to see, you know, how they look on the brows overall, so we'll find that out together now. So I just threw my brows on together very quickly. I used a MAC um, eyeliner pencil, the one that you sharpen. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take that off of my eyebrows with a makeup wipe so you can see accurately what this eyebrow pen's gonna do for us. Sorry if my makeup looks a little bit wonky around the eyebrow, but this is what my natural eyebrow looks like. It's very sparse at the end and definitely doesn't have enough hairs in the beginning. So I'm gonna start with 30 to see how that goes. So I hear a little ball in here, which I think that means you probably should sh shake it up before you use it. There's so much product on there, I think I'm gonna try to wipe off a little bit of it. So I went ahead and wiped off a little bit of the product. I just didn't want it to be like so hard to blend since there was so much product on the actual um, applicator. So we'll go ahead and start in the beginning of the eyebrow. Eee, it's a little, it's a little bit drastic for me, but you know, we'll keep working with it. I'll just kind of blend a little bit with my finger there. So, so far I'm failing a little bit at getting this to look natural. I think you can definitely see that very clearly, but I'll keep playing with it. This definitely would have been a lot more difficult if I had the um, amount of product that it came out of the tube with to work with. Okay, so the beginning of my eyebrow on this eye looks a little jacked, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I think it's just because I need to blend this out a little bit, so I'm just gonna kinda smudge that with my finger a little bit, just kinda fade out that line. I think it, I think it looks definitely a lot better now, and um, the brown isn't looking too light on my eyebrows so far, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do the little tail end now. Oh, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I think that definitely looks nice, the tail end of my brow. Um, doesn't look too obvious, I think, in my opinion. It's very sharp, very nice so far. Okay, I actually, like this product. Um, I wasn't expecting much because when I looked at it in the tube, it just seemed so much like an eyeliner. I was, 
I was kind of worried about working with it, but just compare this eyebrow to this eyebrow. So this eyebrow has this product and this eyebrow just, I did like, you know, a quick pencil. Obviously I didn't, I didn't take a lot of care to make this eyebrow look like extra glamorous today, but um, you know, just compare like the precision we got going on here and what this looks like here. Um, I guess if I had to say which one looks more natural, I guess the, the brow I did with a regular pencil. Um, but I definitely don't think, I don't hate this one. I don't think it looks like that um, fake to me, honestly. I like the nice sharpness of the, of the end of the brow there. Um, I was able to kind of blend out the beginning of the brow so it didn't look like so kind of scary drawn on. But, um, and, and I think that the color is not bad. I think it actually is fine. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is too dark? Do you think it's too light? What do you think? Um, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna do number 50 so you can see how dark that looks. So it's actually a good thing I took off this brow because now you can compare what it looks like just natural eyebrows and this brow liner. So I was in the middle, well, almost done finishing this eyebrow and I, can't, I don't even wanna finish it because I just look crazy right now. It definitely looks like a badly tattooed eyebrow. Um, I don't mean it because the product is bad, I mean it because this color is just way, way too dark for me. Um, I could see me using this eyebrow, let's say if I wanted to, um, I don't know, have like a Dita Von Tiste day where I just wanna like look very vampy and and, uh, and yeah, but like uh, for every day, this is definitely a new. Um, yeah, that's a that's that's really that's a really dark eyebrow. Anyways, like comparing the two. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just look so funny with this eyebrow. Um, I, I definitely I'm still liking the um, the number thirty. Um, I think this is fine. I don't think I need to go to number forty. So if you are a brunette like me. This definitely, I feel like this color works for me. Let me know in the comments if you feel like it's a little too light. But um, yeah, definitely that black's not working for me. So that's my review for this product. Um, I like it, I think it's, a, it's good. Uh, would I use this instead of my other brow products? I normally use a mix between my uh, brow pencil from MAC and my uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz. I use those both. I use uh, the, brow, the MAC pencil for the beginning of my brow and I use the Anastasia for the end because it's a little bit darker. I think I would probably use this product when I go out. I don't think I would use this every day to replace those pencils because I feel like that would probably be a little bit faster. I was really concerned with like making sure it looked um, a little bit blended and not so like stark. So I think I would probably take a little bit more time to use this product than I would to use my pencils, which are just, you know, quickly fill it in, brush it out, I'm done, go. Like, feel like this one, I have to like slowly fill this in just to make sure I get it right. But um, so far it's like set very well. I feel like it kind of actually brushes your brows in place too. And not like a brow gel, but like almost like a brow gel, like it sets them. So I also think this will probably be a little bit more long wearing than an eyebrow pencil. This kind of feels like, well, I don't know for sure, but I think this is gonna be long lasting. If, I, if my ch opinion changes on that, I'll definitely let you know in the description box below if this isn't a very long lasting product because I'm definitely gonna be testing it out to be sure, but overall I'm satisfied. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.